Today we're going to talk about different types of Romex. I've been getting a couple questions uh, online and in person. Uh, people have been asking when we're on jobs, what's the difference in Romex? Usually homeowners, they, they don't know and they're building a house and they see all, they're, they're using Romex instead of uh, EMT, uh, depending on the area, you know, but everybody has their pros and cons about each. I don't really want to hear about them because, you know, end of the day, electric is electric. But uh, I, per, I actually prefer both, but for different things. But anyways, uh, people want to know, what are what's the different types of Romex and what are all these colors that you see in houses? You see white, you see orange, you see yellow, you see black, you might see gray, you might, you know, what are what what does this all mean to you as a homeowner that if you know you need to do a little bit of electrical or something, just so you kind of have a general base of what it is you're looking at. So I have a couple different, I have different samples. So the first is 14-2 wire. Now the 14-2 wire has a black and white and ground in it and it is white. And these are mainly used for 15 amp circuits that for lights and resets. Now there is 14-3 wire. They have, instead of the two, white, black, and ground, they also have a red in there too. Now, the 14 threes are white and they are used with three ways. They can be used for 220 circuits. If you have a, a 15 amp 220 circuit that needs a neutral with that uh, circuit, so your black and your red will be your hot lines. You'll have your white as a neutral uh, and so forth. Use them as three ways uh, for travelers and power. Um, there is a, another type of wire in the 14. I don't know if I, I don't think I have any of it right now, but it's called 14-2-2. Now that allows, that Romex allows, uh, it has, it's like the 14.3, it'll have the black, the, or it'll have the black, the red, the white, and the ground, but it'll also have another neutral in there. It's another white and it's a striped white. And that is for, uh, you can use, use it for multi, so you, if you're pulling like a main run across a long area, in a house, you can branch off the powers. I've seen people do it that way. You can use it for multiple things. See if you're uh, looping a three-way around, instead of bringing another 14-2 over for power, if you have a, if you need a neutral in that box too, like if you have a three-wire for a switch and you have an outside coach light, you can bring over that 14-2 too and you can have a neutral with that and you kind of save bringing over just a regular 14-2 wire where you would have the 14-2-2 and that'll just be one line over. It can get kind of confusing, but I haven't seen very much of the 14-2-2 lately. I think it was just kind of like a fad in some stores. It is kind of, a, it is a little bit more expensive of wire than the 14-2 and 14-3. But then the blue, or not the blue, the yellow is your 12 wire. And th these are for 20 amp circuits. Now this is 12 two. This will have your power, your black and your white for neutral. And you'll have your ground in here. You can see that you'll have your ground. And it's basically just kind of like the same thing as the 14 two. You got your, you got your 12 three and that can pretty much be used for the same stuff, but with a 20 amp circuit as the 14 two. You can use them as travelers, you can use them as a 220 line, 220 with a neutral, whatever, it depends on, 
each color is depending on the how many amps are needed for that circuit. Now, orange is your 10 wire for a 30 amp circuit. Use them for AC, AC lines, um, air compressors. Got your black, got your white, and a ground in there also. And then they also make a 10-3. 10-3 is orange. It's a little bit thicker. You got your red, your white, your blue, or I don't know why I keep saying blue today, your black <laughs> and your ground. Just so you can take note that on any type of, especially newer uh, Romex, you can take note of if you look on Romex, you can tell the date that which this is made. This was made in, let's see if I can get that up there, uh, October 18th of 2019. That's kind of a nice reference for uh, inspectors. They can just, and, and electricians or an, anybody basically that you can see when this wire was made, how old it is, your eight gauge wire is, is black, it's uh, coated black. Uh, when you strip it, you'll have your white, you'll have, <laughs> you'll have your white, your black, and your ground. The, the eight wire is for uh, 40 amp circuits. They also make a eight three wire that uh, we sometimes use for ovens uh, when they need a neutral and two powers and a ground. Uh, moving up, they also have in black a uh, six uh, aught wire, which is, this one is six two, and it is coated in black, has black and your white and your ground. And then they also make a six three that has your red. I'm just going over this, just so there's a lot of people that don't know different kinds of Romex. Now, uh, there is your gray Romex. Now this also will come in 142, 143, 14 or 122, 123, 10 to 10, 3. And you can also get it in 82, 83, 62, and 63. This is gray. Now, because it's gray, it is made for the outdoors. It can be buried. It has a special coating that will keep it from uh, breaking down and keep the integrity of the wire. And it also has kind of a, has a coating on it for uh, some, uh, a UV coating for, so it can be out, outside too, uh, in direct sun and it won't make the wire brittle this it also says on here it is sun sun resistant. I don't know if you can see that. It does say sun R E S for resistant. So they make multiple ty types of this. This is underground wire. Watch out when you buy this because some I've had some people buy this uh, for a job. They'll they'll be like, oh well, I'll get you the your wire and everything, and okay, and they give me a bag or a roll of this and this stuff is expensive compared to this and you don't need you don't need to use this indoors this Romex is just fine this is for outdoor purposes only you could use it in concrete there's been a couple cases where I've we've had to use it in concrete um when I do stuff in concrete I really like the uh, put it in plastic piping if I have, to, if I can. I would like to put it in plastic piping, but if you have to, you can use this too. Now they also make service Romex. So this over here is a hundred amp service Romex. So if you have a 200 amp service in a house and you want to put a sub panel in somewhere, maybe out in a garage, um, you can run this through your attic. Uh, in your crawl space and this has a coating on it 
and this has your three wires with a ground. It'll it has your neutral, your your two powers, and then it has a ground. This is aluminum. This does not have to be copper. The service wire can be aluminum. Any other Romex, uh, your 14 Romex, all the way up to your six Romex, that has to be um, that has to be copper in a house. Uh, it, that is a uh, national code. So I just wanted to show you all different types of Romex. People have been asking me for years. They look at a job and they're like, why is that Romex white? Why is that Romex yellow? Why is that Romex orange? And I tell them and they're like, well, why is that color coded? And the main thing it comes down to, it's color coded for inspectors. When they inspect the house, they can look at a certain room, if that like a kitchen, that room ha for outlets, that room has to be on a 20 amp circuit. They can easily identify just by glancing that, hey, that room is on a 20 amp circuit. Uh, for an electric dryer, they want to make sure that you are running the correct wire for that unit, that appliance. So all they have to do is when they're doing, looking at the rough inspection, they can glance. Okay, that's a 220 wire, uh, has to be a 30 amp circuit for a dryer. Okay, it's orange, we're good to go. And it's a time saver for inspectors. So they can, because, you know, they have so many inspections to do in a day and they just have to get through and make everything and make sure that you're doing it safely for the homeowners. So that was just a breakdown of different types of Romex that there is, just so you know, just a reference. So if you are doing your own job, if this video brought any value to you, uh, hit the like button, comment down below if you have any questions. I'm Philip Bridges and I'll see you on the next one.